Hey everybody, it's been a while since we've done a walkthrough together and the lighting is perfect. Hopefully I have enough. I thought it'd be fun to take a walk after hours this time around and see what's looking good here at the ranch. So if you're itching for a little bit of warm weather or a tropical vibe, this is a perfect chance to just take in some really cool plants. And over the coming days, I hope to show you some of the things that are outside. But being that it's cold, let's just take a greenhouse walk and enjoy some nice plant life. So it is late. It's almost 8 o'clock here at the ranch. And I thought, let's just take a walk and see what's looking good. A lot of new plants in right now. And we'll see some that aren't even in the store quite yet. It's the fun part of being able to do this after hours. There's nobody here. And we can take the full walk. This is going to be one of my longer videos, most likely. Just because there's a lot of ground to cover. A lot of very nice polka dot plants in stock right now. One thing we are doing a lot of is maintaining a heavy inventory of mini house plants all the time. So we have probably close to a thousand mini house plants right now. Really good varieties. We have some cool plants in. Wire vine, that's one you don't see very often anymore. One thing I'm really enjoying is having a lot of inventory. So more than just one or two plants. Really trying to dedicate space to this and have a lot of plants uh, in inventory all the time. African violets looking great. We do have new signage. Very proud of this. The Erica on staff here, she's been making our signage. And a lot more informative, just trying to be very intentional about it. Nice little palms, Neanthabella palms, a variety of different houseplant ferns. Some pretty good stuff here. New bird's nest ferns, different varieties. And of course, everybody loves Calicia. They're looking great. An Aphalandra's zebra plant. A lot of ZZ plants. The coveted Raven ZZ, almost black. Some very cool different ficus. I love the different ficus. We'll be bringing out a few more from our in-house production too over the coming days. But a great ficus selection right now. You can see they go all the way down. And I am so ready to get outside and start doing some gardening around the ranch here. Cryptanthus Elaine, that color, just incredible. And bromeliads. Also a lot of different hanging baskets in here. And more and more coming up. The ornamental pineapples. And here we are in our Atlas greenhouse. This is the area we opened up. Oh, I guess that would have been around fall. And you can see it's packed in here too. A lot of new plants just rolling off the racks. Getting them all tagged and ready for retail. And our pottery selection's great. So the Potter Saloon outside is open too. But it's a little chilly, I don't really feel like going out there, but it is full of good stuff. So we have two locations now where you can pot your plants, pick out your pots and pot them up right here. And again, that's on us. That's a special thing we do. We let you pot them up for free right here. If you buy them here, you can pot them up here, no problem. These, these mushrooms are super cool right now. I love them actually grabbed a few for my own flower beds. Begonias are looking incredible. I love this color contrast situation we have going on here with the Diefenbachia in the background. But man, that evening sun brings out those purples. And then orchids. The selection actually, I should have updated everybody, it's really good right now. It's a lot of cool orchids and heavy butt, just butted up like crazy, ready to go. A lot of orchids in spike, quite a few in bloom. And more incredible begonias. This is the Jurassic Rex series. These are Rex begonias that are large. Some of our codexes starting to push growth, and there's that fire 
fiery red purple. Very nice. There's just plants everywhere. I mean, plants on the tables, plants hanging off the tables. A lot of cool Hoya right now. We have an immense number of Hoya hanging baskets. My Brigmancia has been blooming for quite a while. It just ra it's just wrapping up. And a lot of nice rare plants too. Pretty heavy inventory right now. Some great stuff here, these Philodendron Giganteum. A lot of Silver Sword. Really cool little uh, creeping ficus down there. I did this display with Liz the other night. This is our Spanish Moss Wall. That's a fun one. And then here, more really nice stuff. Big totems in the background. Some amazing Monsteras. Just really good stuff. I've just kicked the lights on in here to help us see a little bit better, but gotta love these Spanish moss bundles. This is the really quality stuff, really nice plants. And then a number of cool ficus in here too. Ginseng ficus, great for making a little bonsai. Sansevieria selection's pretty great. All different varieties. We're starting to lose our favorable light. Now it's just getting dark. Very nice stuff. It's in the nook right now. Awesome. Big Monsteras. And then smaller ones too. We have 10 inch, we have 14 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, all the sizes. Nice Adansonii. Here's a nice little collection of suits very here. That's a really cool one right there. Some starfish. And there are empty spots out here on these tables, and you'll see why. I'll show you the stuff that's coming out tomorrow. The air plant selection's great. Love these glass jellyfish holders. Those are fun. A lot of nice air plants right now. We are getting pretty excited for the warm weather and I'm going to take you on a tour either tomorrow or one of these days of our growing houses because the stuff that's cooking in there is great. I'm very proud of what we've done. Nice begonias in here. Here's a really cool little begonia. So we don't, we probably don't tell this story enough, but this is a Dragii begonia. And this is a great little plant for making your own little bonsai out of. I'm trying to find one for you here that, so it'll grow a pretty sizable trunk on it. What you do is you just pinch it, pinch it. And over time, you can get it to get really cool looking and have your own little bonsai begonia tree. And begonias can live for decades if they're happy. And our light is rapidly disappearing. So I'll try to speed things up a bit. A lot of nice peperomia right now. Hylia, white fusion, yellow fusion, coffee plants. Philodendrons galore. Some really nice totems here. Some of you have been waiting for this plant. We have a handful right now. Amazing staghorn ferns. Surprised those haven't sold yet. Just really good stuff. Big Monsteros. Here I am in our back area where we prep and uh, stock, grow out. Here's a bunch of our passion vines growing for the coming season. A lot of you love your passion vines. We have some good ones this year. Some 
Grand Duke Jasmine up here getting ready to roll out into retail. Let's see if I can find a flower open. Maybe. Just opening up. Ah, oh, it smells really good. It smells like Jasmine, go figure. Good stuff. Huge cacti and some pretty big uh, different tropicals in this load. Nice big fiddle leaf figs, Texas sage. We have the red false banana. We have ice cream banana. And we have the dwarf Cavendish banana. And they're pretty big already. So those are going to be sweet for the summer. And then triangle palms. One of your a little more expensive, but a, like a sun-loving palm. Pretty tough plant, easy to grow. So I got those. Kind of got them for me, but um, I always end up selling <laughs> selling them and pitcher plant baskets just getting ready to roll out too and then this amazing stash of very nice plants these are huge uh, five feet tall and these will be rolling out here soon as well and some big palms so a lot of nice stuff here coming out in the next couple days it is getting quite dark, but it wouldn't be right to do a walkthrough without a quick walk through the mercantile. And the inventory is pretty good right now. We're in the middle of a big restock, but a lot of cool Ripsalis baskets, plenty of three and a half inch, four inch succulents, collector plants, big for Crea. These Agave Lafantha are incredible. This is quadricolor. And just a lot of nice collector plants. Love this prickly pear. It's my favorite prickly pear. Thornless variegated. Oh yeah, a fresh crop of albuca. This is the curly plant. And they look really good. Very well rooted. Gotta love that. What else do we have here? Very nice pack of podium. Surprised those haven't sold. Just a number of nice collector plants. More coming out. We have a bunch growing in the back that we need to bring out. Yeah, so a nice collection of stuff. Well, thanks for walking with me, everybody. I thought I'd leave you since we lost all our light with uh, this great disco music. Um, funny thing, I don't know if this is actually true or not, but Groovy Plants Ranch might be the only greenhouse in the world with disco lights. These are real disco lights, it's not an effect. Uh, we put these in in anticipation of doing evening events. If that's something you'd like to do, let me know. Either way, it's still pretty fun. Just go lights in the greenhouse. Thanks for walking with me. We'll do this again here very soon and hopefully see some warm season plants on that trip. Thanks.